kids. Thanks for tuning in today. My name's Jill Halliday, and I've been invited by the Ottawa Scottish Society to do some drawing with you today. I'm a classical animator and I make my living drawing. They've asked me to choose something that has to do with Scotland and teach you how to draw it. So today I've chosen the flower, the thistle. beautiful right and it comes both in blue and in purple but be careful when you go to pick that flower because both the stem and the leaves are thorny so you have to be very careful can you think of another flower that's like that both beautiful but has thorns well I can think of one it's the rose so the thistle became the emblem flower for Scotland over 800 years ago and I think we should learn how to draw that. So, oh yeah, first we have to get permission though from the boss. So, wait here, I'm gonna go ask. Miss Lila, may we do the thistle drawing today? Yay! Yay, thank you! All right, I'll go tell the kids. All right, boss said yes, let's go draw. Welcome to my studio space. I'm gonna go into my cupboard here where I keep just some of my stuff. One of my happy places full of paint and paper and supplies, ideas. I'm just gonna grab some. What we're gonna use is um, printer paper. We don't need expensive paper for drawing. I always just grab good old printer paper. I used to call it Xerox paper until my somebody corrected me and said, no one calls it that anymore. It's printer paper. Okay, well, I just happen to have a Xerox machine still, so never mind. Okay, so got a few pages of that. And I have our thistle, which my friend across the street was kind enough to print out for me so we could have it as our reference. You saw a color version earlier. Um, I don't have a printer, and my wonderful friend left this for me so we can be looking at it while we're drawing. Um, I will figure it out so we can have a better look. Um, anyway, so um, I'm going to use pencil. I have my pencil sharpener. You can use, I of, often use a manual one as well, but I use my uh, electric one most of the time. So I'll use that. Before we draw the thistle, we need to learn the parts of the thistle. All right, let's learn the parts of the thistle. My friend across the street, she kindly printed off the picture that we saw earlier, the color picture. We have it in black and white here. I've taken a marker and traced, just drawn over the different parts. We have what I'm going to call the seed pod here, the stem, leaves, and our flower with the petals. Remember the purple part at the top? You can always refer back. And then these are more small leaves. And then we've got thorns. Thorns that come off of the stem. And we have thorns on the leaves. Okay, we're ready to draw. Now that we know all the different parts, we're just gonna need some printer paper or whatever paper you'd like to draw with. I use printer paper, which is no longer called Xerox paper. Even though I still own a Xerox machine, I'm 
been informed. I'm not allowed to call it a Xerox machine. <laughs> got our paper and we've got our eraser. I've got my eraser, I've got my pencil, and I've got a pencil sharpener. Now I'm using my electric one. You can use a manual one too. That's good. All right, I'm going to start. I've broken it down. I'm going to do a big circle to start. So if this is our halfway on the page, I'm going to go a little bit higher. I'm going to do what I'm going to call a medium circle and then I'm going to do a small circle and then sorry my eyes were watering there and then I'm going to do a big circle so we have a big circle a little circle and a medium circle and then we're going to do the stem which is a straight line down. It doesn't have to be perfect straight line. It's there. Then, okay. So we did a medium circle, a little circle, and then I did a big circle that went around the little circle. And then I did a straight line for the stem. Now I'm going to do a curved line here and a curved line there for two where we're going to put the stems. Do one with a little stem and one like that. That one, no. There, it already looks like a thistle. Now we've got our basic shapes. Now let's add in a few details so it'll look even better. So the seed pod, let's go up to the flower. And we're just gonna lightly draw in where some petals might be there. And then our seed pod, where we're gonna put a few The smaller leaves, sorry, I have dog hair on me here. If you were going to go like that, okay, so we're going to do a simple thistle so we can all do this now. The seed pod right here, we're going to do a grid. So you're going to do lines that way, and then we're going to go in the other direction. We've got straight lines fanning out for our, to represent our petals. And then we're going to go like this. Do your arch where your circle was, darken that upper edge. And then we're going to flare this line here. Ooh, that looks really nice. Look at that. And then we're going to darken those edges. Look how pretty that is. And then we're going to maybe make a couple of little petals. I mean, I'm sorry, leaves. Now let's take our stem and give it a bit of width like that. I'm going to go to our smaller leaf and give it some width. Now little kit, little ones here, just make a shape like that. Or you, okay. Then what we're going to do kids is we're going to put some thorns. Because this is typical to the thistle. We have our pretty flower, but the thorns are on the leaves and on the stem. So we've given ourselves two leaves. Now we're gonna sharpen our pencils. 
And we're going to add some prickly thorns. And you just do these randomly. I'm going to put some big thorns on mine. Oh, yeah. And on the little one. Like this. Make them really prickly. And on the stem. Might have to sharpen my pencil again. I was pressing so hard because I wanted my thorns to be really prickly. All right. We're done. I'm done. There's a thistle. <laughs> okay. I think that looks pretty nice. Oh, you know what? If it's outside, if you want to make it look like it's outside, you can add more to this, kids. You could make it, I don't know, you could add some bugs flying around, you know. I live in Ontario in Canada, and we have lots of mosquitoes and bugs everywhere, so, you know, you're bound to have bugs flying around. You could make it sunny out. You know, you could add, you know, just a straight line and make it like it's sunny. You could do... <laughs> Anyway, I could go on and on. We're just talking about the thistle today, though. So, but it's your drawing. You can do whatever you like. You can start a new one. You can color it. Darn it, I don't have any colors here. If you want, you can refer back to that color drawing. And you can do the purple up here. Green, green, green. Huh. It's your drawing. You can do whatever colors you like, I say. All right, this looks nice. Let's go put it on the fridge. There. My first Scottish thistle drawing. Thanks so much for being here with me today. It was really fun. And thanks to the Ottawa Scottish Society for setting this up so we could do this together. Bye, everybody.